Hello, and welcome to Low Fidelity. I'm Kevin Seal. This is a music game show, and since we're all socially distant, we have no studio. Our contestants are all at home. We're all at home. There's no way to study for this game because you've been studying for it your whole life. This is a quick draw music game. You use your own chosen buzzer word to buzz in. Tonight's musical guest is Renee Padgett, and we'll be hearing more from her later. But first, let's meet our contestants. Bill Lay. Bill Lay sings in a Pixies tribute band called Debased, in which he plays White Francis. He also plays bass with Jaime and the Pimp Jones Love Orchestra, and is the former editor-in-chief of Bass Player Magazine. He grew up mainly in Virginia, but has been in California for nearly 30 years now. Bill is also a marvelous singer and songwriter in his own right. Bill Lay, welcome to Low Fidelity. Thank you. Happy to be here. Well, we're very glad you're here. You're going to be playing against your friend Patrick Green. Patrick Green is the guitarist of Swoop Unit and of the Patrick Green Trio. He also plays guitar with Jesse Sabi, who's from Ivory Coast. He grew up in St. Louis, Missouri, went to college in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and now lives in the Excelsior District of San Francisco. Patrick, good to have you here. Thanks for having me. Without further ado, I would like to introduce our co-host, Christopher Fortier, best co-host in the world. And I'm so delighted. Like, I get to, if I were to ever write a memoir, it would probably be called Most of My Musical Heroes Are People I Know. And I'm so delighted to have you two here. Um, I'm so delighted I even, like, I, I shaved. And, uh, and this sounds ridiculous. I took a shower. Um, and for that, I think I deserve a fucking medal. Yes, I do. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to leave uh, Barack back there for a little bit. Um, so, yeah, super stoked about it. Welcome. Let's get started. Kevin Seal, take us away. Okay. Now, before we begin our first category, let me get the buzzer words from each of you. Patrick, what is your buzzer word? All right. All right. Bill, what is your buzzer word? Well, I like that guy who was on TV, like, on I Live Lucy, and he would go, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Excellent. So we got all right. We've got yes. I can't do it quite as well. But <laughs> our first category, finish it. I say a lyric, you finish the lyric. The first one, just move yourself and glide like a 747 and lose. Yes. Bill Lay. That's the sound of you got it right. Yeah, yeah, that, that is finishing the lyric correctly. You got it. That is Let's Groove by Earth, Wind, and Fire. All right. <laughs> All right, next lyric. What's the matter with your world? Was it a boy when you wanted a girl? Yeah. Ah, Billy. Close. Don't you know straight hair ain't got no curl? No, curl. Mm -hmm. Life it ain't real funky unless it's got that pop. Dig it. Yes. Pop Life by Prince. Yes, wonderful. Okay. Can I take you to a restaurant that's got glass tables? You can watch yourself. Well, yes. <laughs> Mr. Bill A. You can watch yourself while you are eating. Mirror in the bathroom. English feet. English feet, yes. Mirror in the bathroom. Okay. But I'd rather be a free man in my grave than living as a puppet or a slave. So as sure as the sun will shine, I'm gonna get my share now of what's mine. And then. All right. Patrick Green. The harder they come, the harder they fall. Yes. Patrick, Patrick Green on gets on the board. Jimmy Cliff. Yes, the harder they come. Okay. When I came home last night, you wouldn't make love to me. Yes. Billy. Sleep. You wouldn't even talk to me. You'd say I'm so crazy coming home intoxicated. I said I just want to love you. I just want to love you, baby. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. Yes. Bill, you say the sexiest shit, man. I, I really. Yeah. A thousand percent yes. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. Rick James, well played. Okay, well done. For our first 
In the next category, I'm going to pass it to Christopher Fortier. I love this category. It's a fun one, but it's very, very complicated. There are pages and pages of instructions. No, 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 no. <laughs> the name of the game and the instructions for the game are exactly the same. This is Name That Tune. I'm going to play a little bit of a song. You're going to buzz in, tell me the name of the song, or Kevin's going to play part of the song. You're going to buzz in and tell us the name of the song. Let's get started, shall we? Had to and this is where that bass went. I see. Because today, I'm doing my name that tunes on bass. That's what's going on. First one, we're actually going to use a drum beat, which doesn't happen very often, but it makes me happy when it does. <laughs> All right, I'll take the next one. Yeah! Bill Lay. The Sound and Rhythm by David Bowie. That is correct. Uh, well, well, Sound and Vision. Actually, Sound and Vision. Oh, yeah. Sound and Vision. David Bowie, that is correct. You almost got the that's wrong sound, I which is this. I love that sound, except for the most part for me. People <laughs> live in dread. Christopher mm -hmm. Fortier, back to you. Right on. OK, the next one, because we're featuring the bass today, that's what's happening, goes like this. Yeah, listen, baby. Bill Lay. Ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide, there's a baby. Yeah. That is correct, sir. Lovely thing on that, too. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Our last name, that tune. I never ever had a love put the pedal to the metal and burn rubber on me by the Gap Band. Oh. Have I got the wrong Gap Band song? Oh, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a pat. It's you want to hear it some more? Yeah. Uh, Go to that ring. Do we get another guess or do we go, do we buzz? I think we buzz. Just Pat gets a guess and then we move on. Pat gets a guess and we move on. I mean, I would have said the Gap Band too. I mean, shit, I don't know. Sorry. If you yeah, dropped the bomb on me. Dropped the bomb on me. Dropped the bomb on me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there's like three or four Gap Band songs that sound pretty much the same. Absolutely, there's, yeah. There's basically all the Gap Band songs that sound much the same. Uh, yeah. And I love them. In fact, I want to be in a cover band that does only them and their ilk, because all you got to do to play the drums is learn how to groove in four and then go brak, 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 one. Yeah. And you could also play all the rap tunes that sample. That's yeah, that's true. Uh, that's mm -hmm. right there. Yep. yep. We should an hour-long medley. Right, right. No one yeah. the dance floor. Everyone stays on the dance floor the entire hour. Bomb on me, burn rubber on me, and early in the morning, all time. Yes. <laughs> yep. Yep. Well, I feel ashamed. I, I should have had that one right away, but I'm horrible at shit like this. So sorry. No shame. 
no shame to be felt whatsoever. It's a lot different when you're when you're under the microscope of the camera. Well, that brings us to our musical guest. Tonight, Renee Paget is our musical guest. Renee Paget has been producing music for children since 2009. The song she's doing tonight is not from her children's albums, but from her adult EP from 2014. She's currently working with Kimo Ball and Rosie Panzarello on a children's musical story that is due this summer. Take it away, Renee Paget. Renee Paget, that was fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Right on, Renee. Yeah. Renee also was a champion on Low Fidelity in an earlier episode. So if you want to go check it out on YouTube, you can see her doing her thing there. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't think there's anyone on this screen who hasn't played with Renee at some point. That's true. I think you're right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, that was wonderful. Next up is the category of Record Reveal. Doing it tonight is going to be Christopher. Excited about it. We got four of these. I'm going to actually hold a record jacket really, really, really close to my cute uh, little tablet. And then I'm going to slowly bring it backwards. First one, we're going somewhat minimalist, aren't we? Here it goes. Uh, what could it possibly be? I don't really know. I am not certain at all. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that oh, one, I believe, Kevin, photo finish? Yeah, I think Pat got that. All right. Pat, it was one album. That is correct, sir. Yes, <laughs> All right. Record reveal. Number two. Record reveal. Here it goes. This one is super fun, and it's it's, I have no idea who's going to get this one because it's just fun enough. Oh, oh yeah. Patrick Green. 
Oh man, that's Earth, Wind, and Fire. Uh, I don't know. <gasps> Goes to you, Bill Lay. Gotta keep zooming out. Goes to you, Bill Lay. Goes to you. Oh no. What could it be? Like I don't know, Lakeside or something. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Go. 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 Lakeside. Go. Fantastic Voyage. That is correct, sir. Oh. I never would have gotten that. I never would have gotten that. that yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Nice they, one. The, soul, the soul band that are all pirates and swashbuckling Lakeside. That's right. Uh, when you, when you, uh, you know, put it out in front really quick and just let it fly by, I was like, cheap trick live in Budokan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And that would have been an Alex Trebek moment of, no, Patrick, that is wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and next, on Record Reveal, we have the following. Bob Marley. All right. Yeah. Uh, that's, um, that's Bob Marley's greatest hits. Uh, and Patrick did buzz in first. Yep. He did. He uses buzzer word, yep. Yep. All right. We have one more to go. One more. And this is perhaps the single most difficult one of the bunch. God bless you both, <laughs> which makes me wish I believed in God. Anyway, let's carry on, shall we? Oh, all right. Patrick. Uh, Patrick Green. West Montgomery Trio. I don't know the name of the record. Did I go? Um, oh, it's road. in there. What is it? West Montgomery Trio, Round Midnight. I'm going to give it to you. Judges say yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's like a reissue compilation type thing, so it's not really an official album. It's always true for compilations and reissues. Yeah, yeah. That's what it covers. But, but, way to go. Okay, we got a close game. The next category is a brand new one. We've never played this game before on this show. I want to see how it goes. The category is who's older? And the way it works is I give you two artists, you say which one's older. This one does not involve buzzing in. I'm just gonna go back and forth from one of you to the other, giving you a question and we'll go one at a time. Okay, first up, this one's gonna go to Patrick. Stevie Wonder or George Clinton? Oh, George Clinton. Correct, by three years. Now, to Bill, Marvin Gaye or Al Green? Hmm, I'm gonna go with Marvin Gaye. You're correct, Marvin Gaye by seven years. Patrick, Peter Tosh or Bob Marley? Ooh. I'm gonna say Peter. You are correct. Correct. Peter Tosh by one year. Actually less than one year, like six months, but older. Okay. Bill Lay. Linda Ronstadt or Amy Lou Harris? Oh, jeez. Uh, Linda Ronstadt? Correct. Oh. Yep. I didn't know that. By one year. Patrick, Lucinda Williams or Bonnie Raitt? Uh, Bonnie Raitt. Correct, by four years. Next to Bill. Sting or Stuart Copeland? Stuart Copeland. Ooh, Sting by one year. Uh, uh. Patrick, Bill Wyman or Charlie Watts? Charlie Watts. Bill Wyman by uh. five years. Yep. Bill, Ringo Starr or Paul McCartney? Ringo Starr. Correct. By two years. Pat. Roger Daltrey or Pete Townsend? Hmm. I'm going to say Roger. You are correct. Roger Daltrey by one year. And last one in the category to Bill. Debbie Harry or Chrissy Hind? Debbie Harry. Correct. By six years. All right. Well played. Who's older? Inaugural run. Of that I'm going to say a very successful inaugural, inaugural run. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that brings us 
to our final category, the category for which you need a paper and a pencil or a pen. So this is Helter Shelter. You have 60 seconds, one minute to come up with every song, artist, or album that is an acronym. Let's start the clock. And here we go. Bill is looking downright perplexed. I've switched my microphone off so they can't hear me. I'm reporting from the home office in Anchorage, Alaska. And again, it's time for another hilarious episode of What Would Exifer Do? Well, I don't know. I'd start with GBH, which is awesome because that's grievous bodily harm. Not a lot of people know that. ABBA comes screaming immediately to mind. Uh, you probably get two out of CSN and sometimes Y. You got ELO, BOC, EWF, TLC, the MC5, one of my favorite Bay Area acronyms, JFKFC, GTR, <laughs> ELP maybe? Does MGMT count? Well, BRB in four, three, two, one, and done. All right, that 60 seconds flies by, I know. Let's start with Bill. Bill, what do you have for us in the acronym? I only came up with three. Okay. OU812. Very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Big Audio Dynamite, bad. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And The Gap Band, which is for Greenwood Archer and Pine. Nice. Right. Yeah, yeah. Patrick, what do you have for us? I've got nine. Oh my god. Uh, first one is which the famous Zambian rock band from the 70s, which uh -huh. uh, we intend to cause havoc. Yeah, I think. Uh, I have DTO, Bachman Turner Overdrive. Of course. BOC, Blue Oyster Cult. That's the Daily Double. True Sounds of Liberty, PSOL. Right. In excess? I don't know. Uh, run DMC. Of course. ACDC is an acronym for electronic. Did uh, you say yes? ELO, Electric Light Orchestra. And ELP, Emerson, Lake, and Palm. Right on. Yeah. Oh. Well, that was very impressive. That was very impressive. So, Patrick gets the, the two-point bonus and takes the category. So that means he gets two points for the category, and that brings him into a tie with Bill Lay. So at the end of gameplay, we have an 11 to 11 tie here, and that means we got a tiebreaker question. Here is your tiebreaker question. Okay, it's from the category of betweeners, which is I give you the album that came before and the album that came after. You tell me the album in between. Okay. The album that came before is Zenyatta Mandata. The album that came after is Synchronicity. What is the album in between? All right. Patrick uh, Green. Uh, Landis Damore. Ooh. Sorry. No, it goes to uh, uh, Bill A goes to you. Ghost in the Machine? Ghost in the Machine is correct. Yep. 1981. All right. Well played. We have our winner for today. Such a close game, but Bill Lay takes it. Congratulations, Bill. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Patrick. That was a hard-fought competition. I am knocked out by all of you. Very close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, well played, both of you. That was great. Uh, it was a pleasure to have both of you here. Thank you for playing. Thank you to Renee Paget, our musical guest. Check out her work. Uh, and thank you to our producer, Jay Lee. Thank you to Kimo Ball, who makes all of our original music. Thank you to Christian Santos, who does all of our graphics. Thank you to Roger Gardner and Julian Nash who direct the show. And until next time, stay safe, stay home, keep it lo-fi. Bye, everybody. <laughs>